Yep. So tell me what you've been up to lately. Um, well, I've been in school, as, as everybody knows, I'm pursuing a BA in journalism. I want to eventually get into screenwriting, as I said in the first show. Um, I'm going into my last year, my senior year. It's, it's been tough since the last time I spoke to you. When I, my, my first show, I was actually going into school. Mm -hmm. Now I'm actually going into my last year. So, oh, so you're finishing? Yep, in May I'll be done. Oh, wow. And journalism? Yep, journalism. Oh, my God, so you're going to be doing, like, the lucky show. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully. I mean, hopefully. Hopefully that happens this year. Right now, um, I'm working for No Labels Magazine. Um, I'm, I'm a writer for them, or, or entertainment correspondent, as they call it. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I'm just trying to get into my career field. And just, you know, because journalism is really, really a hard field to get into now, being oh, that yeah. newspapers are being faded out and everything internet-based. But it could also be easy because of internet. Right, so it's really a catch Because now you could do look like, look like, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Scott? Uh, uh -huh. I think it's Scott, Scott. Uh -huh. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, you start off, yeah, it, it and can, then you build. Exactly. So, I so. mean, it, it it, it can work for you if you know how to, you know, work around the internet. But yeah, that's, that's all about who you know, really. Exactly, that's what it really is. <laughs> Just like the ballroom scene. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing right now. So are you still connected to the ballroom scene? I am. Um, at, like I said, my first show, I was, you know, just getting into it. You know, I had what they call bulwark and fever. Now I kind of slowed down. You know, I made my name a little bit, and so you know, I pick and choose the bowls that I go to. But I'm, I'm not saying I'm not into it as much as I used to be. But it's just. It's, it's still fun. It's just, you know, right now I'm trying to focus on my career and my future. And even though the ballroom scene is well, a part of my important. life. Well, that's important. Exactly. And even though the ballroom scene is a part of my life, you know, I, I, wanna, I don't want to get stuck like a lot of people do into it. You know what I mean? So I want to, you know, maintain my, my extracurricular life and my real life at the mm. same time. So that's Great. what I'm trying to do right now. So what's one message you would tell for the future kids of tomorrow? Um, one message I would say, and this is a general message, ballroom, regular life, everything. Do what's best for you. You know what I mean? You have your friends who influence your, your decisions. You have your parents who might try to tell you to do this and do that. But at the end of the day, you are the one who has to live your life. So my, my, my advice is to do what's best for you, whatever works for you. And yeah, that's what I would say to the young kids out there. And don't forget your milkshake. My milkshake. It's almost done now. <laughs> <laughs> Stay healthy. All right, well, thank you so much for this. No problem. All right. <laughs>